Happy Sunday everyone, it's Claire Stone with your week ahead Psychic Tarot Guidance. Today is Sunday the 17th of July. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a collective reading, that's for everyone, from the Waitsmith Tarot and I'm going to pull a message from the Female Archangels book. When I've done that, I'm going to do one card for each of the star signs. So I'm going to go ahead and come on universe, angels, guides, what do we need to know about the week ahead? Okay, so start of the week. Yes, fab card. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. This is all about focusing on where you want to see growth. You can see she's nursing that uh, pentacle. She's really, she's focusing on it intently. She's giving it her all. She does it with tender, loving care. It's a very much a feminine, motherly kind of figure. This is saying to nurture your dreams, to look after those around you and be open to receiving back. She's the queen of money. So if you've got an idea for making more money, increasing your abundance at the start of the week, then get focused on it. The energy of wealth and growth is all around. You've got the bunnies, which is fertility and all this gorgeous growth. So there's lots of growth and very potent energies around you so that's a fantastic start of the week if you're thinking about uh, making money how something's going to go at work whether you're going to get a job all those kinds of questions it's a great week right midweek what have we got midweek we have got the four of swords so within this card we're asking work hard at the start of the week but make sure that you've got a sense of balance and in the middle of the week make sure that you are taking a break having a good rest this is giving yourself permission to refill your cup energetically not necessarily emotionally because this is when swords is a mental card so it's about thinking you've had all these great ideas loads of thought and this is now time to repose you're not going to miss out everything that you've been doing it will pick up in fact you'll be even better you'll, you'll be invigorated and you'll have more energy to continue with your projects because you might have took a day off or even just simply gone for a walk this is about doing something a little bit different to your environment uh, affects your energy and this card is saying go and enjoy yourself take, take time out to reflect refuel and you will be good to go again and the end of the week we have got oh nice card um, and an orange butterfly has just gone past and butterflies are transformation change getting your wings things taking flight ideas um, and orange is the sacral chakra which is really linking into our queen of pentacle card earlier because she's all about that motherly sacral uh, manifesting energy so end of the week yeah hey we have got another fantastic card and we have got the seven of pentacles and this is about um, your abundance coming to fruition so all of the effort that you've put in it's inevitable that it's going to bear fruit now, remember that there's a season for everything and things might not always blossom when you are ready, but you should see some inklings of growth, but it's not your full harvest. So, but that is going to come. That's the promise. And that's why I love this card because it's saying, you know, again, this is about taking a break as we had with our four of swords. It's not about totally doing nothing, but take your foot off the gas a little bit and enjoy what you already have and celebrate how far you've come because these cards are suggesting that you have worked really hard um and you know if it's all work 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 then we're not we haven't got that time to enjoy ourselves and to gain new perspective and new ideas this is your promise all the wealth and um things that you have been wanting to manifest they're gonna come but don't stand there watching it you know when you you're watching a pan boil that analogy um it takes forever doesn't it so focus on something else and your abundance is going to come round. your seeds are well planted do not fear so that is our collective reading let's see what the divine feminine archangels are saying about this week ahead okay so we have got archaea christine again she's been coming out all week uh, and it's the exact same um exercise that came out later this 
later this week earlier this week and it says shedding light on your shadow so this is an exercise what um the archangel christine the angel of the christ light she is the follower of christ now she's not a christian it's got nothing to do with religion christ light is enlightenment um it's the same energy as the buddha energy the, the clear mind the knowing the connected to everything the enlightenment angel and um so we've got this shadow card and i'm wondering because our cards are all linked with money and work this week is there some subconscious fear that we're not going to get what we want so i think while we've got this time of reflecting it would be good if things come up in the week and you're thinking oh, i'm a bit panicking about this now things aren't going as fast as i wanted i've not got as much growth or i've had a setback then you're, the angels are asking you to visit your shadow and see where this fear has come from. We are existing in a super fast paced society and we want these results, but that's not natural. So bear that in mind that um, our everything is cyclical in the cosmos, everything. So call on Christine if you're having any doubts and ask her to shed light upon the things that you are concerned about. And what that will do is once you know, ah, I this is the root of where this fear comes from, then you can transcend it. You can connect with your higher self, the higher mind, the higher consciousness, the higher vibrations. Um, and this is why we have triggers, because we are on this constant growth and they bring opportunities to go for growth so calling christine again we've got the shadow card and i'm thinking it's shadow with money so what is blocking your abundance get busy have you got a um, get busy journaling it out have you got this lack of um, self-worth i don't deserve it or I don't believe in myself or there's not enough um too many people are doing it already all those type of questions get looking at them so that was from my book, The Female Archangels, Reclaim Your Power with the Lost Teachings of the Divine Feminine. And if you have got the Hay House app, you can listen to the audio on there. The app is called Empower You. And there's also a series of meditations called Meditations with the Female Archangels. If you've got the Hay House app, they're included, they're free. If not, you can um, you can buy it. And I, th I think they're on offer for like 6 50 for 11 meditations. And one of them is Christine. So you can connect to that, bring that Christ light in. Right, gonna go on to our signs and I'm gonna start off with Taurus today. Right, Taurus, what do you need to know about the week ahead? Right, Taurus, we have got the King of Swords. So you are being called to do what you do best, get kick ass. This is all about using your intelligence, your confidence, your masculine power, your allowing logic to rule having strong boundaries, being able to say, naturally nah, don't want to do that. This is getting down to the nitty gritter. Um, it could be that you've got really important stuff that you're dealing with this week or um, important situations such as um, doctors, lawyers, professionals, teachers, all of those kind of people that you know this is really really logical and analytical and you're being asked to draw upon those strengths i don't always say this but this is not a week for letting the heart reel it's a week for letting the head reel that is what's going to serve you so that you can cut away at people in situations that do not serve you really get that clarity that clarity is going to come to you this week and you're going to know feel like you just need to get a big sheath and cut up, cut away at the wheat make this pathway even more clear than it was before uh, it feels really empowering it's going to be a fantastic week um so that was for taurus I'm going to tick you off the little list next up we have got gemini gemini what do you need to know this week Gemini, we have got the Fool. This is a beautiful card. There's a sense of adventure. You might be going on your holidays, um, but there's a sense of renewal within you and a sense of wonder and excitement. You're ready for an adventure. You're ready for a change. And this card is saying, go ahead, go and do it. Give yourself permission to just lighten up, to 
get yourself out there and do exactly what your soul wants you to do this card is it's like the soul is leading the way this is your soul that comes in and is and the, takes the feel through the journey of, of the deck so uh, in some respects this is about um getting to a point where you can do what you really want to do so again get a plan go for it if you get invitations to anything out of the blue go and do it you're gonna have a fantastic time you have got everything that you need on your journey um you, you might not have done this before there's an an element of newness with the fool um but it's a really really exciting great card so have loads of fun this week next up we've got cancer cancer Cancer, you have got one busy, busy week. So we've got you there spinning all the plates, rushing around, working really, really hard. Um, this is a, this is classed as a challenge, but a challenge you can handle. It doesn't mean that a challenging situation is coming your way, but you are just going to be so busy that um, it <coughs> just feels like you're juggling so many things. You've got a lot on your plate and you're kind of dancing, I felt like you're dancing to someone else's tune in some respects, whether you have overcommitted, you've took a lot on, um, keep your eye on the ball, uh, see if you can delegate any of your tasks to somebody else, can someone help you, um, don't get to the point where you're going to be burning the candle at both ends, uh, it, it's like you have had um, something painful, traumatic in your past, but that is in the past now, don't let your fears and what has happened to you rule so that you are a yes person yes i'll do it don't worry i'll sort it this is about reclaiming a bit more of yourself so that you have got some free time so you can do what you really want so the question for you is why are you keeping yourself so busy that is the message for you today um next up we have got leo Leo, we have got the Queen of Cups. That's a lovely card. It's about all the good feels. Um, you should be feeling quite well, um, nourished, connected. Maybe you are doing something beautiful with your family or you're caring for somebody. You've got these lovely healing energies coming up within you and people want to be around you. They want to be in your light, so to speak. It's an emotional card. You might be feeling the feels. Um, you've got this pure empathy within you and when someone's going through something you can feel it too and that's why you are so generous with your energy you want to um, help everybody out this card reminds you to fill your own cup as well you are worthy um, but yeah this is a really nice card you know you're feeling kind of loved up energy and, and that's not necessarily in a relationship it's like with friends or with children or anyone around you there's all this harmonious energy coming in the flip side of the Queen of Cups is when you're feeling very emotional because something has happened to you. And if if that is speaking to you right now, you're going through a breakup or a bereavement or a loss, this card says, let your emotions flow, let the tears flow, and healing is coming to you. Mother Mary is around you now with all of her angels bringing in the golden emerald healing light of Raphael to heal those emotions. So be good to yourself, nurture yourself, eat nice foods, be gentle just make sure you're taking great care next up we have got Virgo 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 we have got the world this is a very exciting card you could be going on your holiday too because it is half term in the UK and the world of course is a travel card if you're not going anywhere then this card gives you a congratulations there's some kind of accomplishment you have achieved something and something is coming to an end a cycle is coming to an end but this is like a congratulations it's a good ending um, it, the, the change is coming and you are now going to be rebirthed as the fool the fool is zero and we can see this zero here in the world this is the last card in the deck so the question is who is it that you want to become when you walk through the portal of the world what is it you want next the world is your oyster 
you should be feeling upbeat. This is a very spiritual card. She's draped in the purple robes of the third eye. Get visualizing what you want. You can do it. Um, again, we've got um, these beings in the four corners. They represent the elements, earth, earth, fire, and water. It's like you've got, you've got the magician's wand in your hand and it's bringing all these energies and ingredients in so that you can step in, you can create this pathway. So that's a very, very good card. Have a fantastic, you are gonna have a fantastic week. Next up, we've got Libra. Libra, what do you need to know? Libra, we have got the Justice card, which is a Libra card as well. Um, this card is all about doing what is right. You might get challenged by someone, um, but this card is saying just maintain your integrity and your situations that you find yourself in, the way that they're going to end is in a fair way. So justice will be served. So you just keep your head up, do what is right, don't get led astray, and Lady Justice will be on your side. Now, this card also comes in at times when we um, are signing contracts, maybe you're signing a rental agreement on a new home, um, you're getting a new car, you're getting a new job, you're getting a pay rise, any kind of legal documents, this card represents the law and people who are affiliated with the law. Again, this card says that justice will be on your side. Things should go through quite well. Um, and yeah, it's just about having a deep sense of integrity this week and not allowing yourself to slip up with petty people or um of or your own ego when our own ego is telling us that we're not good enough it's just you know get the sword of truth and slay away at any of that keep coming back to your center i feel in archangel michael strongly with this card and um asking him to help you stay in your truth ask archangel michael to cloak you in the cloak of truth and then the veil of the third eye again will be lifted and all will be revealed. Next up, we have got Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, good card. The Ace of Wands. And who seen my cheeky joke on Facebook about artwork <laughs> for the Ace of Wands? Let me know if you've seen that post. It was just a joke, obviously. Um, so this is gonna be a fantastic week for you. This is a hell yeah. You are excited, you are fired up, you've got that creative energy, very, very passionate energy ignited within you. Opportunities, career, exciting things, travel, romance. This card could go anywhere, but it's all about the feeling so good and so enthusiastic. You're being made some kind of an offer. There's the hand, it comes from heaven and this is an opportunity for growth. So this is a fantastic card. Um, the castle in the background is saying, um, you know, manifesting what you want. You can create your own castle, your own kingdom, your own sovereignty. So grab opportunities with both hands. Feel excited. This is gonna be a great week for you. Next up, we've got Sagittarius. Oh yes, please, nine of pentacles. The key word for this card is successful self-employment or the person who has everything. So you can see this woman and this card is saying that you should be seeing some um, success around you, around career and work. She's got all this abundance around her. She's got the coins, she's got the grapes, she, She's got the um, the robes, which are luxurious. We've got Venus within this card, which is love. 
this is going to be a great week where you are feeling so blessed and contented. You're feeling like the person who has really got it all and you actually have. All you need to do is slow down enough to know that you have got so many blessings and you're really going to feel them blessings this week. What this lady is doing, she's taking time to look at this little bird on her hand and she's allowing herself to be curious about life and all of the things that are around her. She's very grounded and that is a reminder for you to stay grounded, enjoy the fruits of your labour. There could be some good news about work this week. Very fantastic card. And if you are thinking about a side hustle or starting a new business, then this is like, yes, absolutely. This is a fantastic idea. Next up, we have got Capricorn. Capricorn, we have got the Ten of Swords for you. Now, this might look like a grim scene. However, this is a good card, especially if you have been through a difficult week or a difficult situation. You can see the person on the ground, they have literally been floored with something, something very deeply painful has immobilised this person. They feel like they you know something has come to an end and they need to learn to move on what i find interesting about this card is that these 10 swords they pierce the chakra column so this indicates that this is an opportunity for you to rise up this is an opportunity for um, a kundalini awakening you can see this dark cloud that has been over you it is moving it's shifting and what is coming is the light of a new day the light at the end of the tunnel is here this is the end any bad luck any bad stuff that's happened it's over now and things are going to get so much easier for you that light is coming in and you're going to be able to get up and when you when you get up and you get on your feet and you get moving again you're going to do things in a much bigger and better way. It's going to be better for you this time around. So this is a welcomed relief if you are, um, if you have just been through something difficult. If you notice his hand, his, his fingers are um, in a mudra, the same mudra of the Hierophant, and that's what makes his card into a spiritual death, a spiritual development, an advancement of sort. You might not know that right now, but you are going to get that. You're going to, one day you're going to be like, I'm glad this happened because, and you can see the lessons that have come with that. Next up, we've got Aquarius. Aquarius, we have got the world again for you. So again, this is travel, going on some kind of a journey. So I feel like this is something taking flight. An idea is, is um, starting to germinate something that you have planted or something that you have been investing. Um, remember to keep your feet on the ground. Don't get too carried away in the mental realm with this remember he has got the four directions he needs earth earth fire and water for this idea to blossom into something really great so i feel like you've plowed your field you've planted your seeds and there is a really strong chance that what you want is going to blossom and reap for you I feel like there's a, an also an aspect of letting go of limiting ideas and limiting beliefs. I feel like the, I'm seeing this red cross as you've patched something up, um, as if you like you've been through something before, some kind of struggle, and you've put a bit of a plaster on it. Uh, and this card is saying, come on, like really look deeply at this. This is not a time for cutting corners and patching things up. We want your guides want you to have something really really solid this time round so don't cut corners use strengthen your root chakra to feel really confident in what you're doing and and that give you that sense of safety connecting to mother earth connecting to father sky mingling and blending your energies consolidating your idea taking action but walking in with every aspect of your soul not just half-hearted like you need to throw everything into this so that you are going to get the success that you deserve next up we have got pisces pisces pisces
Pisces, we have got the death card for you. Um, this card is all about transformation and change. Something is coming to an end. You might have just finished a job. Your kids might have just finished junior school. Um, it could be the end of a relationship. You will know immediately because it's such a strong, clear card what has come to an end. Now, there is hope, the energies of hope. You can see in the between the two towers, again, like the Ten of Swords, we've got that resurrection. So as one door closes, another one will surely open. We've got the, the white rose, which is all, you can see that this rose of purification, the center of it, it's filled with seeds. So something might have been uprooted from your life, but there is, there is all of those seeds for you to plant when you feel ready to start again and create something beautiful. We've got the skeleton. You may feel like you've been stripped to the bone. Um, you might be feeling vulnerable. You can see that the king uh, is, is actually dead in the card. But this, you, what is important is to notice that his crown has been knocked off. So that's symbolic for death of the ego. It doesn't mean you're going to die or someone around you is going to die. It's the death of the ego because we've been placed in this shadowy um situation where we really we're really thinking about what is real and what is important it's those very deep questions that we might not contemplate every day you've been pushed in that into that so that again you can let go of what no longer serves you receive the healing receive that light and start your pathway again we've got the some kind of like bishop or holy person uh, symbolizing that you know this is um a sacred time for you it feels like the veils are very very thin the spirit world want to come around they, they want to nurture you they want they're all around you right now um and you know it's a special it's a special place to be it can be very emotional and painful but it's very special so embrace this time keep your chin up and remember that the seeds of your future they are in your hand you can you can get what you want when you get through this healing period last but not least we've got Aries 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 we have got two cards for you Queen of Cups and the Hermit this feels like a, you are going through something very spiritual a spiritual transformation because these are both spiritual cards she is so intuitive and the hermit is the spiritual seeker. So he has gone off alone. This is the uh, nature of this card, being alone to seek what it is you are looking for. The answers that you need are within. The not, this isn't like anyone can kind of help you right now. You, you need to trust your own wisdom. You need to embark upon that journey. And see, we've got the star here. The star represents hope inspiration making a wish getting what you want you need to follow your own star this is the star of Murray star of the sea so if you're feeling a bit lost at sea call Murray in ask her to guide you with the star um, she will live, give you synchronicities and symbols you might be feeling a little bit lonely to be honest with this card um, but it's a deeply transformational time it's a time of wisdom see it's an old man that represents wisdom and he is, he is at the peak of something is at the peak of this summit so it feels like this is a great time for you to explore your internal landscape get meditating get on your spiritual path get your house in order what are the things that you want to do um this is like these are the healers and the the masters the people who are going to teach and lead other people on the spiritual path um so do what you need to do take that time out explore again we've got some shadow cards coming through uh, this week so embrace the shadow do your own healing work fill your own cup be alone figure out who am i why am i here what is my soul calling me to do? So gorgeous people, thank you so much for watching this video. 
and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, for liking, sharing, commenting, anything. Um, if you've enjoyed this video to help share the messages. So leaving you with a beautiful week and I will see you soon. Lots of love.